so then this time it's Randall who feels upset by the decision. I suppose a third meeting would settle all the rows. There was a right rumpus when Azuma Nelson faced James Lehar in Texas last September. The locals felt their man Lehar had won. Others made Nelson a clear winner. Nelson got the verdict first of all. Then it was amended to a draw. Here are the highlights of their return in Las Vegas. Well, there he is then. He must be the best fighter that's uh, ever come out of Africa, including the Olympic side. We're into the second round. And, uh, well, a little bit of a needle, obviously, after the last verdict. This is the 11th defence by Azuma Nelson. He's the best away fighter in the world from Ghana. James Leher, well, haven't seen too much of him, really. He's won 27 of 29 with two draws. So it's unbeaten record. A good little fighter, obviously. So we're just wondering now, 35 how long Nelson can keep this up. It's getting tougher and tougher. Made six defences of the WBC featherweight championship. And now up to super feather. That's nine stone, 430 pounds. And of course, remember to in Britain for, well, knocking over Pat Caldell in Birmingham and then defeated uh, Jim McDonnell in London. Classy fighter all the time, Nelson, yeah, but, you know, you have to say one of these days he's going to go the one fight, and this could be it in the second round. I was going to say one fight too many. Now, that's that's quite a sight there, seeing the zoom of Nelson on the deck. He's been good at winning return fights. He proved that against Jeff Fennick, the Australian. He got a draw, and then he went uh, and defeated Fennick, Australia. Now, can he do it now with this Texan? He is in serious trouble, Reggie. You can see that he took the, the full advantage of the count. He, he looks as though he's recovered from it, but that punch that certainly should come up. It's a two-point round anyway for Ledger. As he behaves himself here, doesn't go, go down himself, of course, which is always possible with Nelson. Stop 26 of 37 inside the distance wins. He's done more good shots coming back from Leha. Good solid shots. He's on his front foot now. Looking very patient. He actually looks like the old campaigner here. He's not going erratic. Yet, look very controlled. Another shaking right hand. These are good punches from the challenger. Uh, there was a lot of smart money going around back in this fellow coming into the ring for the return, which I must say surprised me. I thought they'd go with Nelson. Well, Nelson's been guilty of just doing enough to win fights over the years. A couple of times he's maybe mistimed it. I think he did in their previous outing, so we just ask how often can you keep coming back and doing the job better second time round? Las Vegas referee Mitch Halpern. We've got an Egyptian judge here by the way, Mexican and uh, Las Vegas judge. Well, he seemed to recover from that pretty well there, Nelson, but uh, Lager's the big favourite. OK, listen, let me tell you something. No fuck with this boy. Go inside, man. No understand what you feel. Okay? Okay. Don't put your man understanding of the Spanish. He speaks, speaks perfect English. Now then. Yeah, just a little bit of carefulness, this is it. Left his chin, got tagged with the first shot, then the second one put him over. Just a little bit of carelessness there from the champion there. Out for the ninth round. There's too much water in the corner there, and Mitch Halpern's and uh, dried it off. They're slipping there a little bit, and he's pushing them back to neutral corners. Well, it's been a struggle by the ninth now for this fellow Nelson. He's beginning to look his age, Jim, and we've got him behind now. Yeah, but he's been caught by the jab, the long range punches, he has hit him with all the punches and he's just that little bit slow in getting his counters off and even when he gets them off, they like the snap. Still, Nelson always has the power to turn fights around just with that one hit. He's always paced himself well too, Nelson, in the past, but as uh, I say, 35, at this point really, when you're past 30, that's kind of the great divide. Uh, in the ring terms. Good boxer, Leo. He's 27. 
hasn't fought great names in the past either. They must have been hiding him a little bit. One thing about Nelson fights everybody and anybody. Malia has been so controlled all the way through, even when he's had Nelson in trouble, just takes his time. Really a good all round fighter, giving Nelson all sorts of problems all the way through. Who has admired Nelson's boxing gym? Goes back a long way to this. The amateurs and he won the Commonwealth gold in Canada back in uh, 78. And a fellow called Barry McGuigan won the, on that same bill there as a bantamweight. It's lasted very well, Nelson. Well, keep it up, Peter. Keep it body gel. Let's go. He's been caught so often by the, the jab of Leha. Very accurate, stiff, good, solid jab. Just that split second and the reflex has gone perhaps from Nelson, don't you think, of what we've been seeing here? Yep, he's just taken that split second too long to get the counters off. Oh, he's taken a, a point away now. Now he's banging in trouble where the points are concerned now, Zoom with Nelson. A little bit harsh, I thought that was. He doesn't seem to be too pleased either. And I don't blame him. See, Nelson's punches have always been a little bit wide. He's not a real short puncher. And now and again, a string below the waistline. Not intentional, but he has done it once or twice. Smart little boxer, isn't he, the Texan? Oh, well, he's, he's in trouble almost there. Typical of the crowd, though, Jim, so leave them alone, let them go on with the fight, is their attitude. They, they, neither box to complain there. There's still a bit of life in the old dog left yet with Nelson Jim, but he's, he's got a lot to do on our card. Yeah, well, he certainly looks strong enough. He looks as though he's got plenty left, but he's just a bit short in timing. Just that second, everything he does, he's just a second too late in doing it. Well, almost after the bell there, but uh, I think Leho knows, knows now that he's heading for the championship of the world, the way he's been boxing. And that's, uh, well, solemn face, isn't it, of the man who figures this could be the end. You want to march? This man approach you a door. Have a look at it again, Jim. You will leave door. Please, Asuma, please, get there. He's punching just a little bit wide. Well, that was a warning there. I didn't, I didn't think that was justified at all. Let's have another look at it. No, that's that's just second. towards the end of the round. Yeah, this yeah, is the end of the round. We are just got in top once again. So there's, there's the rundown on Leho, who's well, set to become the new champion despite being injured there. They patched it up fairly well. It's a, it's a nasty one as well. Well, they sound a little, a little worried there in that corner. I wouldn't have thought they'd have to be here coming up for the final round. And the crowd applaud in a very good championship contest here. Very competitive. A good brave show by the old guy there, Nelson. But that's about it, Jim. He's, he's got a lot to do. Can he do it in the last three minutes? I've been impressed by the temperament of Leah all the way through. I mean, he's done with one of the biggest punchers uh, the fight game has seen, in, certainly in the lighter divisions. But he's never been phased out, never been troubled, never been in any panic, or everything under control. I think it's been an excellent performance from him, and uh, certainly in my card, he's, he's lifting the title here. You can tell there by Nelson's reaction, the way he's trying to throw punches. As I said earlier, he knows how to pace fights normally, but he's left this one too late. But he is trying in this final round to do something, anything. Haymaker, if, it, it's, uh, if he gets through, well, that'll suit him. Oh, he's boxing so well later, isn't he? He's so accurate with that overhand right. Bang on to Nelson's chin. Nelson always has a tremendous chin. Although he's been on the floor in this one, he's always had a great chin. These right hands are good, you can see the puffiness around his eyes. Tell you what, Jim, the assumption that it's going to go uh, Leho's way, and I'd be surprised if it doesn't. He's gone out like a good champion, Nelson, hasn't he? But even though he's still got plenty left in his legs, when I mean, he's strong enough, fit enough, it's just his reflexes. I mean, we're saying it's the end, and it might just be a slight off night by his own standards. There's still plenty of life left in him. 
Yeah, he's got plenty of pace going there. Look at him up on his toes. I think he's well pleased to know that there's only just a minute and a bit to go. There's an accurate right hand once again. Hang on target. Well, there shouldn't be any doubts now about Leo, I don't think, anyway. But he's trying to make doubly sure here, the detection. You never know with his judges. As I said, two from Las Vegas, one from... Uh, no, one from Las Vegas, and of course the referee is uh, from Las Vegas, and one from Mexico. Egypt, Mexico, Las Vegas, the judge now got the score this. Yeah, just putting a nice clincher on an excellent performance, Reg. Everything again, totally under control, not taking any chances. Just uh, consistently beating his own nose into the punch. Imagine the trade people now in the game, Jim, saying, hey, where did they get this fella lay here from? We haven't seen too much of him. There's always these fellas hanging around in the American gymnasium that got more ability than we, than we realise. So coming up to the end now, and it looks like a new WBC champion in the world at 9-4. I think Nelson was pleased to get over that knockdown early on. The crowd have loved this. I think they're sensing now that their man, the Texan, has won. Jim, final look. Yeah, well, Azuma Nelson tried everything, Reg, but he was always just that little bit short in timing, just couldn't get his act together the way we expect. And Lee Hafer, he always had himself in the driving seat. Yeah, well, that's one, another look at it. Well, well that, that was uh, the one for the low punching, but I mean, I thought a little bit strict. The, the punch actually glanced lovely at his elbow. I thought that was very strict. And it's not done his Ladies cause Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing here at the MGM Grand, here are the score totals. Judge Ringside, Kamal Youssef scores at 114-113. Well, that's a bit Jerry close Jerry Roth scores at 117-109. a bit more like Joe Doguera scores about 117 to 110. All three in favor of the winner. And new yeah, that had to be, that was an obvious one. Well, Jesse I think the, the Egyptian judge was a bit off the mark there, but the two Americans got it okay. So that's the end of a 10-year reign from a great fighter there. There's a bit of sadness in that, and what a good sport he's looking at the finish. And I think Lazio is giving him the compliments that he should.